Hi Petals, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new here and welcome to your timeless pick a card reading. My name is Aura and I am an energy intuitive, a divine light channel and a soul activator. And on this channel, we bring through messages of guidance, messages of support, messages of confirmation, of empowerment, of activation for your soul path and your life journey. And it's amazing to be connecting with you today, whenever you are tuning into this timeless reading and wherever you are tuning in from. And as I was connecting and pulling through the energies and asking what I should bring through in this week's pick a card reading, I was really feeling the energies of our souls calling us in, bringing messages to us. And so this is essentially the theme I wanted to dive into today. But as I was choosing the cards from this beautiful spirit animal deck that I was called to bring through today, I noticed that there was a theme in the cards that wanted to come through to represent each individual group. And that theme and energy is the energy and theme of change. So there's lots of changes that are coming through. Change is on the horizon. Lots of changes that are making their way to you or some specific change here. And so this is what we're going to be diving into today. We're going to be bringing through the guidance for the changes that are coming through for you and bringing through the messages that your soul is calling in. So we do have three different cards for you to choose from today, represented by three different animal energies and three different crystals for those of you who like to connect with the crystal energy. For group number one, we have the goose with the mukite jasper. For group number two, we have the frog with the serpentine. And for group number three, we have the horse with the red tiger's eye. So please select a group, a card, animal energy or crystal that speaks to your intuition. You may select more than one group if that's what your intuition is telling you, that's completely fine. That just means that there might be another message, energy or activation in that group for you. And please remember, my loves, that all of my messages are for confirmations for what you already know deep within. So please utilize your own discernment and intuition and tune into what resonates for you and take only what resonates for you and lovingly leave the rest. Never force anything to fit. And if you would like to dive into a personally calibrated reading with myself, you'll be able to find my website and all the information to do so in the description box. And thank you so much for all of your support, your kindness, your love, your empowerment and your inspiration in the comment section, not only with myself and the channel, but also with each other as well. It's so, so amazing to see you interacting and supporting one another along this life path and soul journey that we are all traversing. So thank you so much for your beautiful energy exchange. And thank you for all of your likes, your comments and your subscribes and your super thanks donations as well. Your support and generosity is so, so valued and appreciated. And I'm really excited to tune into these energies today and bring through these messages for you. So the timestamps for your selected group will be in the description box and in the pinned comment. And I shall see you at your selected group. Hi group one, welcome to your reading. If you selected the goose card or this beautiful Mukite Jasper crystal, this is your reading today for the guidance for the changes that are coming through for you and the messages that your soul is calling in and wanting to bring through for you today. So you have selected the beautiful and powerful energy and frequency of the, I want to say the gorgeous goose, the gorgeous goose. So there's a gorgeous energy that's flowing through here 
okay? And this comes with a, a message of your inner knowing, okay? So your inner knowing is very significant. And I'm feeling like this energy of going on a journey, almost kind of like a soul adventure, okay? So your soul is taking you upon a new adventure. And I feel like your soul is wanting you to see this in a positive light. So these changes, to see them in a positive light. Know that you are being directed or redirected towards somewhere that is going to feel more stable for you. That's the energy that I'm pulling through here, okay? So I do feel like there's some kind of journey that you're embarking on within this change and I feel that this is something that you've already started this is something that you've already begun and I'm hearing this is the next leg of the journey this is the next part or chapter of the journey so I'm now seeing you entering some kind of new gateway here I'm hearing like a checkpoint so it's like you've passed some kind of threshold here and you're moving into the next section of the journey the next leg of the journey here okay and I feel like this is quite a long distance journey I'm being told like the message of if we were going on like a super long road trip we take breaks along the way, you know, we take stop off points, we might even stay overnight somewhere or just stop in a lay by and have some food or a drink or something like that and I feel like this is an analogy and a symbolism for this next chapter of your journey here, okay, so this is okay, I just heard lifelong, okay, so for some of you, this has been a lifelong journey for you, whatever it is that we're going to be pulling through today, or it could feel like you've been working through this for a long time, or embarking on this journey for a long time, but there's some sort of change that is coming through here, okay, so this card says that you are a brave traveler, your soul knows the way, be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Yes, don't worry. And I feel like this is, you know, why your how yourself, your soul was saying to see this in a positive light. This is definitely a positive journey for you or a positive shift or positive change that is coming through for you here. There's almost like a feeling or a calling to move on, to move on from something. This could be something that has just been weighing you down or something that has been keeping you stuck or something that you just feel like it's now time to move on from this. It's now time to move away from this, to close this chapter and to reopen a new chapter of my book, okay? So I feel like there could be a change in direction or path and I'm feeling this energy here of moving away from distractions. And I'm hearing the words here, silly goose, okay? So sometimes we can say, oh, you are a silly goose. Like there's that energy coming through here. So there could be, you know, someone around you or a situation around you. And it could feel like the silly goose energy. And it's like, I don't really want to be paying any mind to this and I don't really want to be entertaining this silly goose energy anymore. And again, it's coming from that lighter perspective though. So there could be something that was like maybe annoying or difficult or challenging or affecting you in some kind of negative way in your life. And so your soul, your higher self is saying that it's not that we have to kind of diminish whatever the situation is or, you know, pretend like this hasn't affected us, but it's like, let's just choose to not take it so seriously and just let's choose to move on now to close that chapter and to kind of fly away into a new direction here. And so you're being guided to ensure that you are embarking on your own journey nobody else's journey. This is important that you're following your own path, you're following your own journey, okay? Because we can see here that there's multiple geese coming through here on this card, which we already mentioned, you know, on the card, it said that loyal friends will always be with you, they're always around you. So I feel like there's some loyal souls that are around you, maybe you've got some really good family members or some really good friends, or maybe this could be 
a symbolism of your spirit team, the angels, the guides that fly alongside you, that walk alongside you as you're embarking on this new journey. However, this loyalty is coming through for you, just know that you're not alone. You're not alone, even if it might feel like it at times, you're absolutely not alone here. You have support, okay? And the geese are amazing navigators and they fly for miles. They travel for miles at a time, okay? So as I said, I feel like this is some kind of long distance journey here. And so there's something about having the stamina and the bravery to keep flying, to keep pushing forward. It's like that message from Finding Nemo. Is it Dory when she keeps saying, you know, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And I'm getting the message here, just keep flying, just keep flying, just keep spreading your wings and flying and following that inner knowing. Because you have some kind of inner knowing here, some kind of inner calling, something that's maybe pulling you away from something or pulling you towards something. It could be a bit of both, right? And so you're really being guided to follow this and know that you are a brave traveler, right? And your soul knows the way. Be confident and you will achieve your destination. So wherever it is that your soul is calling you, wherever it is that you are heading, you're absolutely going to get there, okay? And you have support along your journey, okay? So really utilize that support system around you, okay? And follow your inner knowing, when it comes to who you can trust and who is loyal to you, okay? And don't forget to be loyal to yourself as well. So let's see what other messages are wanting to come through for you today, group one. I have already shuffled and pulled some cards for you off camera to try to save a little bit of time today. So let's see what wants to come through. We have the guide card coming through, the illuminated path. Ooh, it's interesting because as I was just talking about that loyal energy, I was actually being shown a dog and I was gonna say dogs could be significant, but I thought that would be quite an obvious message, so I didn't say it. But there is, you know, a wolf here, you know, they're a part of the dog family, um, they are related. So yeah, there could be significance here with dogs or wolves or that energy here. This is about paving your own way. This is about going and following your own path. We have Green Man and Synergy. You've got two cards here. You have Milk and Honey. And you have Deep Knowing, yes. Owls could be significant, elephants as well. I feel like you've got a lot of animal guides as well here who are supporting you. Maybe you consciously work with animal guides. Oh, we have new beginnings. Look at those butterflies really standing out to me there. Okay, so this is a time of powerful transformation. And you know, it's interesting because I was being shown a gateway, like you're reaching some kind of checkpoint, some kind of gateway is opening up for you. So I love this confirmation here. Yeah, this is super powerful. So we've got the numbers 21, the numbers 3, the numbers 51, the number 6 the number 43 or the number seven coming through here. And right away, the number seven is standing out to me and that is the chariot card in the tarot. So that talks about travel, right? It talks about forward movement of having that stamina, that willpower, that ambition, that confidence as well, okay? So I feel like you really are being guided now to utilize your confidence to move you forward, to know that you're absolutely ready to make the moves and the changes that your soul is guiding you to take along this journey, okay? That's really important here. We do have the beautiful rainbow frequency coming through here, which is gorgeous. That talks about blessings and miracles, okay? That's what it always talks to me about. So I feel like it's almost like you're traveling the rainbow bridge is a vision that I'm being shown here to find your pot of gold. And as it says in this goose card, right, you will achieve your destination, but confidence is the key for you. It's important that you believe in yourself. And so maybe you've been actively working on 
empowering yourself, lifting yourself up, speaking positive words to yourself. And I feel like that's going to be very significant here because I feel like your throat chakra is very significant here as well. And the goose, the geese, they do make noises as well. So there's something about making noise and not being afraid to being heard here, okay? But, you know, with this guide energy coming through right away to start these energies here, the illuminated path, the path is being illuminated for you and your inner knowing is guiding you in the right direction. And so it's really important that you are taking the time to go within, to check in with yourself because this is how the path is going to be illuminated for you. And with this green man energy as well, the synergy energy, it's like things are just going to fall into place, okay, quite naturally, as long as you're not forcing anything, okay, so forcing something is going to cause like a resistance here, okay, so just allowing yourself to move forward, following your inner knowing, trusting in your loyal guidance, whether that's from others around you, you know, helping you or assisting you or supporting you, empowering you. If you're blessed enough to have someone like that or a group of souls like that in your life. And, you know, if that isn't around you, as we said, you know, that's completely fine. Lean on your spirit team because your spirit team are your number one supporters, I'm hearing. And they're really helping you to tune into these synchronicities to tune into your inner knowing and to feel confident in trusting yourself, to feel confident in trusting your own inner navigation system, okay? I feel like you're actually going through some kind of upgrade when it comes to your inner navigation system, aka your intuition, because I'm seeing like a compass within you and all the cogs are turning and they're being kind of tweaked with like little kind of tools. So I feel like you're going through a recalibration. And when we're going through a recalibration, we have to momentarily, temporarily, almost kind of like be taken offline so that we can reboot the system. So if you see this as, you know, a computer, when we're updating a computer, we have to allow the updates to process and integrate and install. And then we have to kind of like restart the system so it turns off and then it turns back on again, right? And it does its final attunements. And so I'm being shown that energy for you as well. That's very significant here. I feel like you're going through a recalibration. So you might feel like you're flying blindly, like help, help, you know, I'm flying. Where am I going? Can someone please send me a message? Hello. It's like that energy here. Okay. So just breathe into those moments I'm hearing. Just breathe into those moments and just allow yourself to soar. It's almost like I'm being shown when the birds, they flap their wings to gain that momentum, but then they can almost kind of like allow their wings to just stay still and just glide. And that's the energy that I'm feeling for you. It's like you could be going through a period of just gliding where it's like you have to trust that your wings are going to support you and steer you in the right direction, okay? And they absolutely are, as long as you're having confidence in yourself. And that's where that bravery energy is coming through. I really feel like there's a life path shift coming through for you. I feel like your life path is changing in some way. And you're moving here towards this milk and honey energy where you're gonna feel more satisfied, okay? So this is a deeper level of satisfaction within. And this is why it's important for you to embark on your own journey and to make your own decisions. And yes, whilst you can have guidance around you, you know, whether it's in the form of friends or family or partners or spouses who can support you and, you know, assist you along the choices that you make or whether that's your, you know, your support system in, in terms of your spirit team or however you find guidance, it's just a tool for you. It's not something to tell you what to do. You need to be making these decisions yourself. And this is very important along the life path. I'm hearing that when you're actually choosing to make these decisions yourself, that's when you're actually going to progress. That's when you're actually going to get to those checkpoints that I was talking about and the pathways and the gateways to these new beginnings here. So it's important that you make your own decisions 
and follow your own inner knowing ultimately. Yes, you can absolutely get guidance from others, however you get your guidance, but it has to come from within you. That final decision has to come from within you, okay? So that's very significant here. Owls could be significant, the full moon could be significant here, but you know, we've got inner knowing and we've got deep knowing. So very similar messages coming through from that. Your crown is also opening and expanding as well. I'm feeling like a crown expansion coming through here. Lots of divine downloads flowing through for you. You might be seeing lots of stars or starry energy, starry symbolism at this time. I'm hearing glimmers, okay, glimmers. Look for glimmers. So glimmers are those moments where we feel grateful for things through our day, okay? So what can we be grateful for in, in our day-to-day? -day? Is it that we have petrol in our car? Is it that we've got a coat that we can wear to shield us from the rain as we walk to work? Is it that we've got some money to buy ourselves some lunch? What can we feel grateful for today? What is that glimmer in your day? Is it that a stranger smiled at you? Is it that you went for a walk and you saw a beautiful cat that came up to you and rubbed against your leg? What is your glimmer today? That's the energy that I'm pulling through here. And I feel like this gratitude essentially is going to open up a doorway for you, almost kind of like unlock something for you. So if this is something that you're already doing, this is confirmation that this practice of gratitude is absolutely going to synchronize you and synergize you into the energetic frequencies to move you forward into this milk and honey energy across this rainbow bridge to find that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And you're absolutely worthy of this. You absolutely deserve this as well. With the elephant energy, that is, you know, a huge energy of stamina, a huge energy of strength. But the elephant is also very childlike. They're very playful. They're very intuitive. They're also very loyal as well, actually. The elephants always look after their loved ones and their families. They gather around their young to protect them. And so I feel like there's a lot of support that you have actually, Group 1, whether it's in the 3D world or in the spirit world or both, right? You've got a lot of support, a lot of guidance, a lot of protection coming through for you. And I feel like, you know, you're being given messages and omens and signs and synchronicities really to help you along your way here into this new beginning. So there is some sort of transformation that you've been traversing as well massively here, okay? So allow yourself to transform. I just heard allow yourself to shift out of. So yeah, you're definitely shifting out of something here. This could be a limiting belief. It could be a pattern. It could be a modality, a way of living. It could be a part of your life path is shifting in some way here. Let's see what else is wanting to come through for you. I actually, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a pull here towards the honey and I'm being told there's a healing because honey is very healing. It's got antibacterial properties and you can put honey over a wound and it heals and that's what I'm being shown here. So there's some kind of healing and now I'm being shown that when you eat something too spicy, if you drink milk, it cools it down. There's something about diffusing something, cooling something down, diffusing, balancing something out that could have been quite hot, quite fiery, maybe sore potentially, wounding. There's something like that coming through here. So I feel like you're shifting out of some energy like that into something that is going to be more soothing, more healing and more balanced for your energy. So if there's anything that is a bit too uncomfortable in a way that it's not good for you, right? It's, it's, it could be a bad habit, it could be a relationship, it could be something that's just toxic for you, right? You're being guided away from that, okay? And this is another reason as to why you've got so much support. I'm being shown someone running a race and they've got people on the sidelines just cheering them on, waving flags, they've got the signs up with the quotes on there, you can do it, you can do it, I'm hearing. 
wow, so you're really moving through something. And, you know, if we're talking about running a race or a marathon, that does take endurance. It does take that belief in ourselves that we can get to the finish line. Because if we run a race, we hardly start with the idea that we're not going to be able to complete it. We start a race knowing that we're going to be able to reach the final, we're going to be able to reach that finish line. And so that's a, an energy that I'm being shown here. You're racing or moving towards some kind of finish line because this isn't a race. And so I feel like that's also a message here. It's okay to slow down. It's okay to slow down. And sometimes, as we said, you don't need to be flapping your wings. You can just be gliding through, okay? So you're gonna have periods where you're gliding and other times where you can you know, pick up speed and flap those wings and go a little bit faster and then other times you're gliding and it's really important to have the balance between those two modalities of movement forward okay wow let's see what wants to come through here reach for the stars you have barely scratched the surface you have unlimited potential and you are getting ready to experience this firsthand wow my gosh just as we were talking about soaring and flying and gliding and we've got full moon again coming oh my gosh didn't i say stars were significant yeah we've got full moon we've got stars you're reaching for the stars and so those glimmers, those moments of gratitude and recognizing that you are the star is really going to push you forward here. Wow. We have follow the signs, look around you for clues. The answer to your question is right in front of you. Okay, interesting. We have the ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. We have the blue flame here, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time, my gosh. We have metamorphosis, embrace transformation. Things are now different, okay? So it's interesting, I just have to say this before it goes out of my head here, throat chakra, the blue flame, there's something that is igniting from your throat chakra here. We have golden Christed dragon, brings you higher love so that you embody the Christ light. Absorb the Christ light, you are protected, yes. Expand your heart and remain fifth dimensional. Wow, there's an ascension energy coming through here, like no wonder we've got the reaching for the stars energy. You've got the goose, which is an animal that can fly high into the sky. And so you're reaching for the stars here, you're ascending, you're on the ascension path. And so this is really powerful energy. We've already brought through the energy of transformation with the butterflies here on the New Beginnings card. And now we have metamorphosis coming through here, embracing the transformation. Things are now different, okay? So there's a change that is coming through for you where things are gonna be different for you. And as we said, your soul is saying, see this in a positive light, okay? See this in a positive light. Sometimes there can be the grieving process, right? Where we're so accustomed to certain things or ways of living or ways of being or doing things. And when change comes that shifts something that changes our reality, that maybe changes the way that we see something that could even be a truth that's being revealed here and it's kind of like maybe shocking in a way or uncomfortable in a way or in a way like can I just go back in my cocoon and pretend that I never heard this pretend that I never saw this pretend that I never realized this pretend that I never received this information Pretend that I never felt like I needed to move on or move towards more here. There's something about the familiar. I'm feeling attached to that. But I feel like now is the time to move forward. And this is why your soul, your higher self is saying it's a positive change. It's a positive shift. Yes, it may feel uncomfortable in the moment or it may feel difficult letting go of that past timeline, that past version of yourself, that habit, that cycle, however it is manifesting for you, 
it's going to be so much better on the other side. That's what I'm hearing on the other side of this rainbow bridge at the pot pot of gold at the other end of the rainbow bridge look how happy this elephant is just basking in this milk and honey where their wounds are soothed and that fiery energy is balanced out that's the energy that i'm really pulling through here so this message of it's happening for you not to you is often a difficult and sometimes triggering message to receive but this is coming through for a reason and, you know, I really love how, you know, this message spontaneously channeled through about the honey having healing properties and the milk soothing down that fiery hotness from the chili, right, eating something hot and spicy. And I love how underneath that is the ever unfolding rose talking about being cracked open. And so I feel like this is talking about soothing these wounds here, soothing the pain or the anxiety, I just heard the anguish, okay? So if you're feeling this right now, I'm sending you so much love. You're absolutely gonna get through this. You're just moving through this and whatever this is, the honey and the milk is gonna soothe this and heal this and you're gonna look back and it's not gonna be affecting you anymore, okay? Things are gonna be different, okay? So something is changing and this is bringing through uh, an awakening here okay so I feel like you're traversing an awakening here and this is why these changes are coming through here and ultimately I'm hearing you're being catapulted okay so that is quite a scary thing you know to be catapulted it can feel quite sudden if we think for one moment we're just sitting there and then all of a sudden we're forced forward like we're thrown forward into the ether and it's like what am I going to do? And I'm hearing you just need to trust that you will fly. Wow, yeah. I'm being seen you in this giant catapult and just being flung forward. Just trust that you will fly is a message that's coming through here because you absolutely will. Don't forget that you've got all this support here around you in the spirit world 100%, okay? But lean on those who you trust. Lean on those who are loyal to you, loyal to your path. I just heard loyal to your purpose. So this is a deeper level of purpose that is unfolding for you. So those who are supposed to be on this journey with you are going to be supporting you. They're gonna be stood on those sidelines as you're running towards the finish line and they're gonna be cheering you on there. They will have waited all day for you to get to that point where you cross that finish line. And so you'll know who those people are, who those souls are in your life. And so those are the people who you're taking forward with you. But there may be some reveals here of maybe some people in your life who are not standing by the sidelines, who didn't show up, who are not waiting for you to achieve whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve. So take note of that, okay? And sometimes that can be painful to have those realizations but I feel like this is going to be so expansive for you when you're able to see the truth of something and to really get that deeper level of clarity and understanding. Don't forget you're going through a huge awakening, a huge metamorphosis, a huge transformation. So be gentle with yourself. There's a lot of activations that are also coming through for you and a lot of integrations. And you know, it's interesting because I was being shown your inner compass, aka your intuition going through a recalibration, you know, that retuning. And I feel like you're also integrating a lot as well. Your throat chakra is also very significant. But the golden Christ dragon is also talking about your heart chakra as well, okay? And I love how we've got this confirmation here that you are protected, right? I was pulling that energy and that message through earlier on in your session. So I feel like you've got such a big heart, group one, I really do, and you're being guided to keep expanding this heart, right? Keep being loyal to yourself. And just because there's people and situations along your path who have not been loyal to you, who have not treated you in a way that you would treat them, or they've not spoken to you in a way that you would speak to them, however it's coming through for you, 
it's not a, a sign that you need to close your heart off. I'm hearing expand it even wider. Expand it even wider, but it doesn't mean that you have to give them access. You can move on. You can choose to move on to change things. Things are different now. So you're being guided to embrace this transformation, to continue to follow the signs here. Follow the signs sitting underneath the synergy here. The signs and the path forward is going to unfold naturally for you. But look around you for the clues, the synchronicities. The answer that you're needing is going to appear for you when you need it, as if by magic. So don't force it. Don't force anything to happen here. This is just allowing things to be, right? And following whatever your milk and honey is for you. Traversing that rainbow bridge towards that pot of gold where your transformation is going to be understood on a deeper level, where you're going to reap the rewards of this metamorphosis, of the changes that you have been doing, the work that you have been doing on yourself, the healing that you have been integrating and working through, and the light that you've been shining on those shadows to overcome limiting beliefs, patterns that have kept you stuck, have kept you still. So I really love this gorgeous energy. If this is resonating for you, if you're moving towards whatever your pot of gold is, drop it in the comment section. I am traveling the rainbow bridge. I am traveling the rainbow bridge and feel welcome to share whatever your finish line is for you, whatever your pot of gold is for you. I would love to hear what this is for you. So please feel welcome to share that with us. So we're gonna close this session today with a dolphin energy, a dolphin message, a mermaid dolphin message that wants to find you here. A magical mermaid dolphin energy and message that wants to find you here for group one, please. What wants to come through? What wants to come through for group one? Oh, look, we have synchronicity coming through. What was I saying? Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. I love this. I love this message, this confirmation coming through here for you. Follow the signs. The answer is going to be there for you for whatever question you have along your journey. So keep looking out, noticing those synergizing synchronicities, okay? Look for the clues. The answers are going to unfold when the time is right for you, okay? So you are being guided here to make the changes that are going to catapult you forward, okay? This is the time for progression, for life path progression and soul path progression as well, actually, with this integration, this awakening energy that's coming through. I feel like you're awakening now to things that are good for you and things that are maybe not so good for you. And so you're awakening to truths and deeper clarity about situations. And so whilst this can feel absolutely uncomfortable, painful, challenging, it can also lead to bigger, more beautiful and brighter things, bigger and beautiful, brighter times ahead, I'm hearing. Drop that in the comment section. I am moving towards bigger, brighter and beautiful things ahead okay, reach for the stars. You do have unlimited potential here, but you may not see this in yourself at times. So ensure that you're surrounding yourself with those who will uplift you. And if anyone is pulling you down, quite frankly, they're not for you moving forward. So you might need to set boundaries or distance yourself because this is your time to shine, group one. Look at this, bottom of the deck, make a wish. This is a magical moment, make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So there's a manifestation energy coming through. I'm being shown a shooting star. When we see a shooting star, we make a wish. So shooting stars could be significant for you. And there was also a message about a shooting star in the last soul alignment session that I dropped on my channel. So you may have listened to that reading, but if not, you may want to go over to that session after you finish this one today, because I feel like there could be an extra 
message or activation there for you. It's my last soul alignment session previous to this pick a card and on the thumbnail it has an egg on the thumbnail with a sunset inside the egg so please feel welcome to go and check that out if that resonates for you but try not to overwhelm yourself because it was quite an intense session a lot of activations coming through so feel welcome to add it to your watch later playlist so you can tune into another time if that resonates better for you but either way, group one, you've got a lot of changes that are coming through for you that are metamorphosizing you into new beginnings. Things are going to be different from now on, but in a beautiful, bright and promising way I'm hearing. So know that you are protected, keep expanding your heart and remain fifth dimensional. So you've got this energy where you're moving on this ascension path towards this 5D energy. So don't allow anything from that 3D energy or that third dimension pull you back in. Remember, there may be some people or situations that need to be left in that space while you ascend upwards, okay? So allow yourself to do that and don't feel like, don't feel guilty, don't feel bad for that because I feel like you've been held back for some time and now is your time to move forward, group one. So this has been your reading and message today, group one. I truly hope that you found helpful messages, guidance, confirmations, and any activations that you're needing here today for your soul path and your life journey as you move forward. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's been wonderful to connect with you. So let's see what we should do here. I feel like drop a rainbow emoji, drop an owl emoji, drop a full moon emoji or drop a rose emoji in the comment section if this has been your reading today. If you've resonated with this reading or if you would like to claim any of this beautiful illuminating path, reaching for the stars, following the signs, activating that deep inner knowing, embracing the change and transformations, stepping through these new doorways into your new beginnings and traversing the rainbow to find your pot of gold energy here today. And please feel welcome to drop in the comment section how this reading has resonated for you and share with me anything you would like to share about your soul path and your life journey. I always love to check in with you and see what you have to say and what you have to share. Your messages are so empowering, so inspirational. And thank you so much for that energy exchange, for helping and supporting each other as well in the comments. It's wonderful to see you all sharing your stories and supporting one another. And thank you for your energy exchanges with your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your super thanks donations as well. Thank you so much for your support, your generosity and love is so valued and so, so appreciated. And if you would like to dive into a personally calibrated session with myself, you can find my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services that I currently offer, as well as my limited edition monthly special readings and book with me directly there. But please note that if my readings say sold out, that just means that I'm currently temporarily at full capacity. So please navigate to the top of my website where you'll see a little banner at the header of my page. And I'll pop in there a little update of when I next expect to open new readings and new availability. Thank you so much for your patience and for your understanding. And if you would like to dive into some more guidance, some more assistance, support, activations along your path, don't forget to check out my channel. I've created some playlists with other pick a card readings and collective soul alignment sessions as well. And all my readings and messages are timeless. So please feel welcome to tune in, have a browse and see what stands out and calls out to you. And if you've liked this reading today, if you've enjoyed my energy or you like my style or vibe, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon because that will let you know when I tune in 
and drop new messages and readings for you. And the algorithm is always shifting and changing as well. So if this is the first time that you've stumbled across my reading, we may never cross paths again. So if you've enjoyed this reading, be sure to subscribe. We would love to have you join us in this beautiful blossoming and blooming community. And with all this being said, my loves, thank you so much for tuning in and connecting today. It's been wonderful to be here with you in this space and I'm wishing you all the best, sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye. Hi, group two. Welcome to your reading. If you selected the frog card or this beautiful serpentine crystal, this is your reading today for guidance for the changes that are coming through for you and the messages your soul is calling in. So you have selected this beautiful frequency and energy of the frog, the gorgeous frog here, and this brings with it the message of prosperity. Okay, so just tuning into this energy here, I feel like there's something, this change is bringing through, like you're hopping away from something here, you're hopping away from something, and I'm hearing you're hopping away from negativity, okay, so I feel like there was some energy that you were stuck in here, so you could have been stuck in some kind of pattern or cycle of negativity, and this frog is bringing with it this energy of change towards something that is going to be more enhancing for you, more prosperous for you. So you're hopping towards prosperity, feeling more prosperous, right? In whatever way prosperity is coming through for you, because yes, it can absolutely be, you know, finances and money, but this could also be like a prosperity in friendships, a prosperity in healing. And I'm really getting a healing energy coming through from this frog as well. There is a message coming through here or a question more so. Have you lost focus? Have you lost focus? In some area of your life, has your focus been taken away or I'm hearing mixed messages. So there could be something about an interference in the frequency, an interference in your ability to be able to tune into something here, okay? So there could be some kind of recalibration that's coming through here. This could very well be linked with your intuition, okay? Because I feel like your psychic abilities are significant here as well, right? The eyes are really standing out to me on the frog, so third eye energy coming through here massively, okay? This clairvoyance energy coming through. So I feel like you're really being guided to hop back into focus here. So something could have taken your focus away, whether this has been momentarily or whether this has been something that has been playing out for some time here. Also, the message strongly associated with this energy here is about water cleansing. So water is very cleansing for you, okay? So cleansing your energy with water is gonna be incredibly assisting for you, incredibly shifting. I just heard activating as well. So you could also receive activations through water, whether you're having a shower or a bath, whether you're swimming, or whether you're just kind of like surrounding yourself with water, listening to the sounds of water, I feel like that could spark some activations for you here as well. I'm also feeling like there could be an energy if you're feeling like you're different or kind of like an outsider in some way, like you don't fit in, okay? Maybe searching for like soul family or searching for something that feels familiar or feels like familiar to your energy. It feels like it, it's a good match for you. So I feel like there could be some changes that are coming through in regards to feeling like you're going to be understood more, okay? So coming into contact with those who are going to understand you because I am hearing misunderstood. So you could feel like your energy is often misunderstood, like there's people around you or situations that just don't get you or, you know, you struggle to kind of fit in in some areas. So I feel like these changes that are coming through for you are going to help you to feel like you fit in more or find others or, you know, situations or even if it's a job or something like that, that fits better for you. It's like, 
oh my gosh, this is so perfect. It's like it was made for me. That's the message that I'm pulling through here. I love that. Okay, so this card here, let's see what it says. So this card says to let go of the past and embrace change. Opportunities are close at hand. Hop into this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you. Yes, I love that. So you're hopping towards abundance. You're hopping towards feeling more abundant, feeling more blessed, feeling more prosperous here as well. And you know, it's that message coming through about the frog goes through three stages of transition, three stages of transformation, essentially. They start out as the egg, then they become the tadpole, and then they become the frog. So I feel like there's multiple different stages of transformations that you are navigating through, that you are working through. So I feel like you're going through this metamorphosis energy to transform into something new, okay? So that's a very interesting energy coming through here. And frogs lay multiple eggs as well. So I feel like there's multiple things that you're kind of moving towards. You could have multiple ideas. You could have multiple ways of making money or prosperity or abundance. Very entrepreneurial energy coming through here. I feel like this could be my entrepreneurs or people who have their own business, their own ways of making money. Or maybe you've got a normal nine to five, you know, job but you've got something on the side here there's lots of kind of like i'm hearing pockets pockets of potential there's lots of pockets of potential that are opening up for you here wow incredible so pockets of potential to make the changes that are necessary here I am pulling through the frequencies of fertility, abundance, as we said, an energy of resurrection coming through, like rebirth energy here, an energy of adaptability and good luck coming through here for you. I feel like you've got lots of different colors as well to your energy, lots of different colors that make up your frequency. So colors could be very significant here. Um, but your main color that's coming through here is like a green energy coming through. So this could also be a, a heart chakra transformation. We've got the solar plexus, the yellow coming through, and we've got blue coming through here for the throat chakra. And we also have the purples coming through here as well that could also be significant. So let's see what your cards have to say today in regards to these changes and the guidance that is wanting to find you. I have already shuffled and pulled some cards just to try and save a little bit of time today, but we'll see how this goes. So let's see what we have here. We have precognition, psychic ability, and future vision. Yes, that's what we were pulling through. We have desert and vision quest. Wow, major third eye energy. We've got here and now coming through. And we have finding coming through here. So I'm just going to take these cards for now. Um, okay, so precognition, psychic ability, future vision, and then we've got vision quest. So, you know, right off the bat, we already discussed this, but it's coming through again. Your vision is so significant. And I feel like your vision, the way that you see things is changing as well. Um, not just like your physical eyes, but your third eye as well, your inner eye, your spiritual eye is changing, is shifting. So you're definitely going through third eye activations, awakenings, openings, expansions, integrations here, but you're seeing things in a different way. And so this is gonna help you to make the changes that are necessary, to make the changes that you are needing. You do have a lot of opportunities opening up for you here. They're very close. Remember, the pockets of potential, they're very close here. So keep following that inner vision. Keep following your intuition, your psychic abilities when it comes to knowing what to move towards here. You're someone who is very you know, you're able to visualize things very strongly, but you're also able to see things, you know, ahead of its time. So you've got very good visions of the future as well. You might be someone who receives premonitions 
or is just able to tap into maybe the latest trends that are going to be coming up or what is going to be popular in the future, where we're heading as a society, where we're heading as a collective, what is going to be powerful to tune into and focus on and to work with okay you can see things ahead of time and so it's important for you to I heard honor that and listen to that okay so you're going on some kind of vision quest here and with this desert energy you know that's a very barren energy where not much grows you know but I feel like you're changing that up so you could have been going through maybe periods of lack or periods or experiences where things didn't seem to be blossoming, things didn't seem to be blooming, maybe you've been struggling or there's been challenges financially or with some kind of level of prosperity or abundance and I feel like your vision is the key to unlocking this change, to unlocking the blossoming, to moving towards the abundance and to experience that higher level of prosperity okay so this is powerful this is powerful but I feel like right now in the present moment you're being guided to work with what you have okay work with what you have because the present is essentially all we have okay tomorrow never comes there's always another tomorrow and so the present moment is all you have we have the numbers 13 coming through the number four the number 32 or the number five so again five is the number of change so i feel like right now focusing on the present moment maybe planning about what changes you feel that you need to make but the answers are within here okay so going within in this present moment is going to be very awakening and activating for you there's something that you're going to be discovering in the here and now in the present moment not in the past and not looking towards the future because yes you're very future focused you're very able to tune into that future frequency but I feel like right now the present moment is calling you right now your presence is needed in the present moment here and now you are here and this is where this door is going to unlock for you this is where you're going to find an answer an epiphany some kind of activation is going to be stimulated I'm hearing and integrated and downloaded and attuned for you to be able to see something a lot more clearly okay so the now moment is very much calling you here I'm seeing the book from Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. So maybe someone's reading that book or maybe you've read that book or there could be something from that book if you've already read it that you may be kind of guided to meditate on, maybe a quote or a section from the book that could be helpful and activating for you. Maybe it's a book that you've been considering reading and this is a confirmation for you to tune into that book, okay? There could be something there for you. But either way, the power is in the now, okay? So that's something very significant for you. Let's see what else wants to come through here. We have collective consciousness coming through. You may be feeling overwhelmed by all of the energetic shifts. It is time to focus on peace and love for all. We have Boon. Heaven is rushing in and showering you with blessings. Open your heart to receive. Yes, your heart space is very significant, but I love this energy. We have Trust the Niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? And we have your life as a canvas, artist manifestation, creative accountability. Wow. We have stagnant waters, feeling stuck, a call for shifts, flow and change. And we have the air and water dragon, helps you to connect to higher frequencies, trust your intuition, develop your psychic abilities, be open to enlightenment and express your inner song i love that wow 
powerful energies here. A lot is activating here for you. You're very connected, I feel, to the collective consciousness. And I love how that is like synchronistically sitting right underneath the precognition, psychic ability, future vision card here, okay? You're very connected to the collective consciousness. And so you're very tuned in to all of the energetics that are involved in that, all the shifts and the changes that are coming through. And so as we said, pockets of potential, there's multiple changes, multiple shifts, multiple timelines, multiple gateways. I feel like almost like an interdimensional traveler energy coming through here. Someone who is as a soul level, always shifting and changing timelines. And so I feel like you're no stranger to this overwhelm. But right now or somewhere in the near future, there could be an energy of overwhelm that is coming through for you because I feel like these shifts that are taking place, they're gonna be happening in a way that you've not felt them before, in a way that you've not experienced them before. There's gonna be a change in the way that you're integrating these energetic shifts. And it's like your field is having to adjust to this. And so be gentle with yourself as you're traversing these energies, as you're flowing and sifting through these energies. I'm seeing someone with a sieve and they're kind of like sieving through, you know, these energies here, okay? And so you're needing to just take your time to process this, right? This boon energy is a fantastic omen here. It is talking about multiple blessings coming your way. So you're someone who is very blessed and someone who I feel like you've got a lot of good energy, good karma that is coming through for you. And now is the time for you to reap your rewards. And so make sure that you're keeping your heart open because there's things here that you're going to be receiving, not only blessings and prosperity and activations, but you're going to be receiving a deeper clarity. You're going to be receiving deeper inner standings, visions of the future potentials, the pockets of potential. You're gonna be receiving the confirmations, the clarity, the inner standing that is involved in all of these things. I'm hearing multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional, wow. So you really are navigating through the pockets of reality, the pockets of potentials in the field of reality in the collective consciousness. This is quite um, far out energy coming through here. And, you know, I'm really kind of trying to kind of like translate these energies in the best way I can, like process them myself here. It's like my own inner kind of like processing machine is kind of running on overdrive right now. There's kind of like steam coming out of my ears. <laughs> and it's like, I'm really trying to kind of bring down these energies and, you know, integrate them so that I can channel these through here. But you've got a lot of energy that is coming through here, group two. So really take time to sit in the present moment. It's no wonder that being in the here and now is so significant for you because I feel like it's going to be so easy to get blown away in all of these changes and to get swept up in all of these shifts that are coming through and so staying grounded is going to be very conducive for you here. There is something that is niggling at you as well and so there's something that it's trying to tell you and I love how that is sitting right underneath the here and now being in the present moment. That's where you're going to hear this message, right? That's where you're going to really be able to tune into whatever this niggle is for you and to really understand and understand what this niggle is and what it's trying to tell you, what it's trying to communicate to you. So again, being in the present moment is so profound for you. Your life is a canvas. You are an artist, okay? You have strong magician energy, magician vibes coming through here. You're very capable of creating your reality. I mean, you know, we all do essentially, but I feel like you're very aware of it. Like you're very, as we said, very aware, very open, very expansive as a soul. You've got a higher level of consciousness. And so you're very aware of what you're creating. And so this is a reminder to continue to be considerate about where your focus is, where your intention and your attention and your emotions are being pointed towards, are being indulged in at this time. Because I feel like these changes that are coming through for you, you're passing through essentially a very potent portal of manifestation potential. And so all of these things, your intention, your focus, your emotions, your attention, wherever it's focused on, 
is going to be passing through this portal of manifestation potential here, okay? And this power is emanating from within you here, okay? And I feel like your soul is going on, has been on already a journey to discover something and there's something deeper that is unlocking and revealing itself to you as well. Especially if you've been feeling stuck or stagnant. I feel like you've been calling some kind of shift forward here, some kind of change. And this could be, I'm being pulled back to the desert energy. So something that was lacking, something that just wasn't there, it was not blossoming, you couldn't feel it, you couldn't sense it, it just wasn't happening. Something was stuck, something was stagnant. And on a soul level, you've called a shift here, okay? So I love how we were talking about water being very cleansing for you. Water is very activating for you as well, group two. I'm getting that confirmation coming through here. So water is going to be helpful to get something moving, okay, to get something flowing, to welcome in these shifts, to alchemize these shifts, to manifest these changes, okay. So with this air and water dragon helps you to connect with higher frequencies, trust your intuition, develop your psychic abilities, be open to enlightenment and express your inner song. Exactly, this precognition, this psychic ability, this activation in your third eye. You're going through this process where your psychic abilities are shifting, they are changing, they're coming online for some of you and for others of you who are already aware of your abilities, they are changing or they're enhancing more so and you're developing something new here or a deeper level, a depth to your psychic abilities, to your psychic awareness and it's through this gateway of enlightenment, it's through this gateway of consciousness which is in the present moment and so this is why another reason as to why you're being guided to be in this present moment here okay there's something that you have to share as well there's a song that you're here to express there's something about your soul that you're here to express okay there's something that you're here to create and i feel like you're finding something in these shifts where you're going to feel more able to be able to express something to be able to share something here okay so allow yourself to open up to receive these blessings that are coming your way here Remember, it's time to focus on peace and love for all. So I feel like in these shifts and changes as well, you're also choosing a more peaceful frequency. You're choosing to activate a more peaceful frequency. So I feel like you're shifting out of any energies of chaos. And that could even be connections or relationships or experiences that could have been chaotic or causing some kind of imbalance here because on a soul level your frequency is very much aligned with the energy of peace and that's something that is very significant for you as a soul and so I feel like by focusing on this energy you're going to help to dispel any energetics of overwhelm coming through here okay I'm hearing take it one step at a time take it one step at a time okay because I feel like with this boon energy there's going to be an influx potentially of things coming towards you this could be new opportunities maybe you're getting multiple job offers maybe there's lots of people noticing your business noticing what it is that you do discovering you knocking on your door wanting to ask you questions. How do you do it, group two? How did you get to where you've got group two? Help me, group two. Show me the way, group two. And that can be so overwhelming when you've got so many people pulling on your energy, okay? And so this is where you take yourself to the present moment, to the energy of peace, okay? You don't need to be worrying about your to-do list, what you've got to do tomorrow. Yes, you can absolutely sit in the present moment and plan it out, have a schedule. I feel like that's going to help you to, you know, process the overwhelm and to organize your life and your responsibilities and these new energies that are coming through for you, these new opportunities and windows that are opening up for you. But right now, you just need to be here with yourself and just breathe, okay? That's the energy that I'm feeling here. So allow yourself to get to water because that's going to help you to cleanse and process these energies as well. 
So let's pull through a dolphin and mermaid energy for you here, group two. A dolphin and mermaid energy. Just to close out group two's reading, please. What is the final message that wants to come through here for group two, please? We have accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's powerful. Okay, so you've asked for some kind of help, some kind of assistance. You set the intention and put it out there to maybe ask for an answer or ask for a solution or ask for something to find you here, okay? And that is absolutely coming to you. But this could be coming in a multitude of different ways. This could be someone coming along your path that has been doing what you're wanting to do that can give you the advice, the tools that are necessary to help to give you that answer or to help to progress you forward. This could very well be a contact. It could be something you're seeing or something that you're overhearing, a bit of information. It could be a meditation that you're guided to embark on and explore. And in that meditation, you receive a download. It could be someone offering you a new job or an opportunity. It could come through in a multitude of different ways, but you've asked for help, you've asked for assistance, and it's absolutely coming through for you. So be here and now in the present moment. Know that you're being guided to let go of the past and embrace change, okay? So you're releasing the past, and yes, you're planning for the future, but you're also being in the present moment and enjoying that. I feel like you're someone as well who is like always kind of like, what can I do next? And you've got a lot of ideas, you've got a lot of those pockets of potentials that are kind of infusing within your field and you're excited about the future and that's great, but the present is needing you right now. Remember that the opportunities are close at hand and you're being guided to hop into this new day with joy. Abundance and good fortune await you here, okay? There's a lot of energy that is coming through for you. We do have two messages specifying the word heaven as well, which is interesting. So there's something about heaven energy coming through here. There could even be some help from heaven literally coming through, maybe a passed on loved one for you here, okay? But there's a lot of support that is around you here. And so you really are being guided to continue to connect with those higher frequencies, okay? Because this is gonna help any stagnancies to shift for you and to get things flowing again, okay? Remember, your life is a canvas and you create what is painted on that canvas. So remember the power that you hold within your focus and your present moment, okay? So powerful messages coming through here for you today, group two. I truly hope that you found helpful guidance, confirmations, empowerment, and any activations that you're needing here today along your soul path and life journey. It's been wonderful to be connecting with you here today. So let's see what we should do. I feel like drop a white dove emoji, drop a cactus emoji, drop a third eye emoji, or drop an egg emoji in the comment section if this has been your reading today, if you've resonated with this reading, or if you would like to claim any of this powerful precognition psychic ability opportunities, being close at hand, hopping into a new day with joy, following your vision quest, discovering the shifts and changes needed to move through any stagnancy, receiving the blessings that are being showered from the divine through for you here today energy. And please feel welcome to drop in the comments how this reading has resonated for you and share with me anything you would like to share. I always love to tune into your stories about your soul path, your life experience thus far that you would like to share. Your messages are so inspiring and empowering. So thank you so much for sharing all of these beautiful energies, not only with myself, but also with each other as well. It's amazing to see you all connecting 
and supporting each other. So thank you so much for your presence here today. Thank you for all of your energy exchanges via your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your super thanks donations as well. Thank you so much for your generosity, your support and your appreciation is so valued and really received with so much love and gratitude. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And if you would like to dive into a personally calibrated session with myself, you can find my website in the description box where you'll be able to see all of the services that I currently offer and book with me directly there. But please note that if my readings say sold out, that just means that I'm currently at full capacity. So then please navigate to the top of my website where you'll see a little banner at the header of my page. And I'll pop in there a little update of when I next expect to open new readings and new availability. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. And if you would like to dive into some more guidance, support, empowerment and activations for your path, don't forget to check out my channel. I've created some playlists with other pick a card readings and collective soul alignment sessions as well. And all of my messages and readings are timeless. So please feel welcome to have a little browse and to tune into whatever speaks to your intuition. And if you've liked this reading today, if you enjoy my energy, my style, or my vibe, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon because that will let you know when I tune in and drop new messages and readings for you. And the algorithm is always shifting and changing. So if this is the first time that you have stumbled across this reading, I may never show up on your feed again. So please feel welcome to subscribe and to join us here if my energy resonates for you. We would love to have you join us in this beautiful and blossoming, blooming community. And with all this being said, my loves, thank you so much for tuning in today and connecting. As always, it's a pleasure to be here with you in this space. And I'm wishing you all the best and sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye. Hi, group three. Welcome to your reading. If you selected the horse card or this beautiful red tiger's eye crystal, this is your reading today for the guidance for the changes that are coming through for you and the message that your soul is calling in. So we're going to be bringing you through the guidance, the confirmations, the messages, support, empowerment and any activations you're needing right now and moving forward as you navigate these changes that are coming through for you. So the message that is coming through right away here group three for you and it's more so a question and that energy and message and question that's coming through is do you feel like you've lost control and is there anywhere in your life where you feel caged in or stuck or restricted in some way because this beautiful horse energy is bringing through this message of freedom okay so these changes that are coming through for you are essentially going to break you free, okay? They're going to help you to be free, to be liberated from something here. Because I feel like your energy is very unique and you're also very independent, whether you realise it or not. So there could be some energies of dependency or codependency. It's almost like a mask or an illusion, making you feel like you're not free or you're not capable of being free, you're not capable of being independent, but you actually are. And so your soul is now saying, we need to break free, we need to break free from something here. So this could be a multitude of different things. It could be a connection, a relationship that's been stifling you. It could be a job. It could be a limiting belief. It could be a habit or a pattern or a cycle. I just heard karmic. So there could be something karmic coming through here. And essentially, whatever this is for you, you're ready to break free. And I feel like saying no more is going to be very significant for you. It's going to be very liberating for you, group three. And just as I was connecting with your reading and hitting record, all of a sudden I'm having major throat chakra issues and challenges coming through. So do excuse my voice if it's a little bit wonky. 
but I feel like maybe that's an energy that's coming through that I'm channeling through and processing, indicating that there's something about expression here. Do you feel stifled when it comes to expression? Is there something that you're needing to say, but you feel like you don't have that freedom of speech, you don't have that freedom of your voice to be able to say what you need to say or to be able to express yourself in a way that you feel most comfortable and authentic because there is an energy of movement towards authenticity and massively coming through here for you and I feel like now is time to be even more your authentic self because I do feel like you're a very authentic person already, you like to do things in the way that you like to do things, but there's a stifling energy coming through here. There's also a feeling of like boredom coming through. Are you feeling bored in some area of your life? And I feel like that could be to do with that freedom, that feeling caged in, that need for a deeper level of liberation here. Whatever is stagnant, there's something about breaking free and orchestrating some sort of change, okay? It's important for you to not be fenced in or controlled in any way by the desires specifically of others, the desires that are not your own. So I feel like the changes that are coming through are helping you with power to amplify that so that you can go after some kind of desire here that is a soul desire for you. It's something that you're meant to explore and experience in this life. There's also a message with this card here, with this beautiful horse energy, that you have big gifts for this world. You have big gifts for this world. You have a lot to share, okay? You're here for a big reason, okay? And so your soul is saying, it's time. It's time to make these changes. It's time to step into. I just heard this new skin. So I feel like you're growing some kind of new skin here. And it's almost like not necessarily you're growing, but you're shedding some old skin so that the underlayer can come through, like this more authentic layer that was hiding underneath some sort of skin here can come through fully and completely. So that's an interesting visualization that I am being shown here. So this card here that you have selected, Horse and Freedom, comes with a message that your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Wow, I love that. That's beautiful energy coming through here. Already, I'm getting like a strong mantra energy coming through. I'm not sure if someone here is someone who loves to speak mantras because I feel like there's almost like an empowerment there's an empowerment behind this and it's leading me back to the throat chakra. Your words are so powerful and so be mindful of the words that you're speaking to yourself and I feel like right now is such an amplified time for you to be speaking life into your life, into your dreams, into your timelines, weaving that into the fabric of your reality because there's so many shifts that can take place by you really stepping up and stepping into your power but most specifically using your throat chakra to do so. Maybe you need to speak up about something, maybe you need to say something, whether this is you know, with a situation or a person or whether it, this is like speaking to yourself, you know, empowering yourself or communicating with your guides or asking the universe for exactly what it is that you want. There's an energy of beauty that is also encompassing this frequency here. So there's a beautification that's coming through for you. And I feel like letting you know that your energy is so beautiful and there's like a reminder that is coming through or again this empowering energy coming through reminding you of your beauty and to not settle for anything that is I'm hearing not on par with that energy okay so someone needed to hear that there's a message of accomplishments coming through I feel like these changes are helping you to accomplish something now, this can be different for each and every one of you. Maybe an accomplishment for you is breaking free from something, is letting go of something, is embodying something, is speaking a truth in some way. What is this accomplishment for you? Take a moment to reflect on this. 
and really tune in and ask yourself, what am I truly wanting to accomplish? And asking yourself, why? Why do I want to accomplish this? That's also going to spark some downloads and some activations and some energetic shifts for you that are going to be very freeing and liberating for you, essentially. So powerful energies already coming through here. And I'm not surprised because you have selected the horse, which is such a powerful animal. They're not an animal to be taken lightly or to be diminished in any way or to be overlooked. You're here to be seen essentially. You're here to be noticed. You're here to be felt. And that's exactly what the presence of the energy of the horse brings through. This energy of beauty, this energy of a higher level respect and I feel like that's massively coming through for you from the spirit world and is going to be spreading into your 3D existence, your reality as well, as long as you empower yourself, as long as you allow yourself to see the beauty in your energy, the beauty in your presence. So let's see what energies and further messages and guidance are wanting to come through for you today. I have selected some cards off camera to hopefully save a little bit of time today but let's see what wants to come through for you we have balance coming through stability and standing firm we've got the number 40 or the number four oh we've got volcano and volatility coming through We've got by the book coming through here with a number 11 or the number two. And we've got home card coming through here. I did just hear the 1111 portal is gonna be very significant for you, right? This is a timeless reading. So even if you're tuning into this after the 1111 gateway, that's fine. But there's some kind of energy here that is gonna be coming through for you, that is gonna be accessible for you during this time. So whether this is coming up for you or whether this has already happened, this is a very specific and significant date for you. The 1111 portal, the 1111 gateway. So I feel like make sure that during that time, during that energetic gateway, you're taking time to go within because I feel like there's something that is wanting to come through from deep within the surface here that is wanting to be felt. Now, this could be coming in the form of an epiphany, a download, a confirmation, a realization. It could come in the form of an energetic release, maybe through an emotion or something that just wants to come through. I heard escape, so there's an escaping coming through here. Maybe you've been wanting to escape whatever this is. Maybe you've been wanting to avoid whatever this is, whether, especially if it's an uncomfortable energy as well, you know, sometimes we can want to kind of escape those energies. We don't really want to sit with that energy or frequency because it can be difficult, especially if we're someone who's quite sensitive, because I feel like you're a very sensitive soul. You feel very deeply, but there's something deep within here that is wanting to come through. And I feel like this energetic release is going to activate some kind of change here. It's going to release some kind of shift. And from my point of view, as I'm sitting here and looking at the cards, there's actually a major reflection coming through in this volcano and volatility card here. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up from the angle that you are viewing this reading, but from my angle here, from my perspective, there's a sheen to the card and I just saw a rainbow in it. I saw rainbow frequencies coming through. So this is telling me that after something that is breaking free here that could be quite uncomfortable with this volcano energy, there is a blessing that is on its way. This could even be like a blessing in disguise from a situation that feels like it's just exploded, okay? There could be something that is exploding in your energy field or from within you here, but this absolutely has to happen. There could be something exploding from outside of you or even within you here, okay? But this situation, whatever this is, absolutely needs to happen because it's breaking something free. It's removing some kind of blockage, some kind of plug that was holding something in here. And this is actually going to be bringing in a deeper level of balance and stability, okay? So you are being guided to stand firm during whatever this energy is because this actually, this energy is shifting you, it's changing you. 
I just heard onto another frequency. So there's a frequency change that is coming through here. I feel like there's a frequency attunement. And so whilst you're processing this, whilst you're moving through this, you might feel like you're momentarily maybe going backwards a little bit because I'm being drawn to the elephants going in this direction. So there might be an energy of going backwards, but then to push forward, okay? So there could be, you know, an energy maybe of reflection on something in the past or reflection on something that has happened or pulling something through from your soul here from a past life momentarily taking you back a step but ultimately it's going to push you forward 10 steps more if that makes sense okay so if you feel like you're going backwards don't fret don't worry stand firm and hold your balance and know that this is just a part of the process to unplug something here in terms of a blockage, right? Something was plugging something up. It was restricting something. So something is breaking free here and it's gonna help you to rebalance, to recalibrate. With this energy of by the book, you're here to do things differently, right? As we said, you're very independent. And this energy can talk about following the patterns, following the lineage, doing what your ancestors did, following that line, okay? But you're here to do something different. You're here to do things in a different way. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. But you might feel kind of like tied into something here with this home energy. There may be an energy of feeling comfortable, right? Feeling comfortable in this frequency, comfortable in this energy. Or maybe you've been stuck in some kind of cycle for so long that it feels comfortable for you. I'm getting this message of the south node coming through here. And our south node is our past life energy. It's our past life karma. It's what we've already done. It's what we've already achieved. It's what we already know. It's essentially what is comfortable for us. But that doesn't mean that it's right for us. Sometimes we can be comfortable in the uncomfortable. So we can be in an uncomfortable, maybe toxic situation but it's, it feels comfortable for us. It feels like, well, this is what I know. This is the way that it's always been. And I feel like now you're continuing to push through and away from anything that is pulling you into a past paradigm, a past timeline. And these are why these changes and shifts are coming through because it's breaking you free from what you've already done, what your ancestors have done, what your past on loved ones have done, right? You're changing the cycle. You are a cycle breaker. You are a cycle breaker. If this is resonating for you, drop that in the comments. I am a cycle breaker. You're doing things differently, okay? So there's a level of consciousness that is coming through here, an ascension in the consciousness to recognize these patterns, to recognize these cycles. So if you're recognizing these patterns, if you're sitting here today and you're resonating with this, or if this is just confirmation for you, you can already see yourself kind of repeating something or wanting to get out of a pattern or a cycle. This is your confirmation that you can absolutely break free from this. And it's a part of your purpose to do so. Whatever is holding you back now is just restricting you from stepping into your purpose even deeper because a greater purpose is calling you here. Your soul has signed some sort of contract here that is up leveling you in some way. Your soul is ready for the next chapter, but in a way that you are up leveling and you've absolutely got the strength and stamina to do this. And I feel like this is coming online. And I feel like with this home energy as well, it's really important for you to be taking that time for respite, to be taking that time to relax. Because yes, whilst the horse is incredibly strong, incredibly powerful, they can run very fast. They also need to take breaks. And so this is a confirmation for you as well that this energy of your safe space where you can retreat, where you can go within, where you can relax, where you can pull back your energy, where you can meditate and connect to your higher self. That is so important for you that is so significant for you so ensure that you're keeping up this space this space of tranquility and peace i'm hearing is going to be very assisting for you so let's see what else wants to come through for you here we have guiding light in your darkest hour you will find the light that will shine through you and lead the way wow powerful and we have a heavy heart energy. Take time to nurture your emotional wounds. 
Yeah, this is powerful. Look what we have here. We've got the number four coming through here with the guiding light card sitting right underneath the balance energy here, the number 40 or the number four. So that's very significant here. The number four in the tarot is actually the emperor card, which talks about stability. It talks about security and strength. So again, there's an energy of leveling up here. There's an energy of taking back your power, calling back your power, knowing that your hard work that you have been putting in has brought you so far, it's brought you this far. There's an energy of leadership that's coming through for you here. So no matter what you are going through, what you are experiencing right now or, or coming up for you, you're going to be able to make it through this. You are the guiding light and you have access to the guiding light to show you the way out of any dark tunnels or any mazes where you can't see the way forward. So know that whenever your time of need is for you, you're going to be guided. You're going to find that light for you. And with the heavy heart energy, take time to nurture your emotional wounds, sitting right underneath this volatility, this volcano card here. So there is something I feel that is coming through specifically from your heart space here. Take time to nurture your emotional wounds. So I feel like this is some kind of emotion that has been trapped within, that I feel is breaking free, that is being liberated from you. And as I said, I was seeing a reflection of a rainbow frequency in this volatility card. So after this emotion has come through to the surface, after that discomfort, that challenging of the process of this emotion, there's going to be a blessing that's coming through for you. You're going to be lightening your load in some way. After the rain comes the rainbow. After the rain comes the rainbow. And so I feel like this is a really strong empowering reminder for you that whatever is weighing heavy on your heart, you're going to be able to purge through this and release this and let this go. And this could be something that has been cycling through for lifetimes, through the lineage, through the ancestors, very much connected to some sort of karmic pattern or cycle here. And I see you releasing this. I see you letting this go and finding a new space for you to feel comfortable, for you to feel comforted, I'm hearing. You're being supported with comfort and you're being helped by being comforted in the spirit world, okay? The number 14 could be significant or the number five. Now, we know that the number five talks about change. So this is very significant for you. Not only does your horse card talk about change here, you follow the winds of change. We have the number five coming through for you as well. So there is change sweeping through in your energy, in your vicinity, and you're being guided to hop on it. I'm being shown a carousel with the horses going round and around and you're hopping on this carousel and you're breaking some sort of cycle that has been going round and around and around and you're alchemizing this, you're shifting this by using your power, okay? So you're so close to this, you're so close to achieving this. The number 14 is also the temperance card in the tarot, which talks about bringing balance, it talks about patience. So for some of you, you could have been working through this for some time, clearing this for some time, and it's time now for this to be shifted. I feel like your throat chakra is very empowering, like you have words of wisdom to share to others, you have words of guidance. I wouldn't be surprised if I've got many leaders or guides or mentors, people who maybe have their own YouTube channel or their own social media where they empower others with your voice. And this is why this layer of authenticity is coming through on a deeper level, because there's something about your soul and your energy that needs to be felt. We have warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? Wow. We have all paths lead home, inner authority and intuition. Turn your gaze within. Oh my gosh, sitting right underneath the home card here. Wow, I love this confirmation. I love this synchronicity coming through here. You are a warrior, okay? You don't have to be a woman. You don't have to identify with being a woman, but you have this warrior energy that is coming from the divine feminine that is being passed down from the feminine lineage in your ancestors, in your family line. 
So it's interesting because we've got the number four coming through twice, which is the emperor. And now we've got the feminine energy coming through, right? And balance has also been a very significant message in your reading. So I feel like this change that is coming through is helping to balance your masculine and feminine energies and knowing when to tune into each energy that is needed. So we all have masculine and feminine energies within us and we can all tune in and utilize the masculine and the feminine at the right time in order to do what we need to do, work through what we need to work through, right? And I feel like this balance is helping you to make those necessary changes and shifts that are needed here, okay? So there is a calling that is strongly coming through for you here. And this is the message from your soul that your soul has been calling in that wants to find you today. This confirmation that you have a deeper calling, okay? There's something within you here buried underneath these wounds, these stuck emotions that may not even be yours. They could be passed down from ancestors, your family line, right? Once you can clear through this, there's a deeper calling that is going to be coming up from within you and I feel like it's tied in with that rainbow frequency. This is a massive blessing coming through here from your soul. So take time to reflect and ask yourself, have I answered my deepest calling? Are these desires that I am following, are they my own? Do I feel free? Have I lost control of my own life? Am I making the moves and decisions that I'm making from a place of my own heart, from what I want? Or am I repeating a pattern that I feel I need to repeat? Or am I doing something that I feel I need to do? Because, well, it's just what you do, isn't it? It's just what people do. It's like, no, you're here to do things differently. You're here to do things differently. And I'm feeling like this energy of a home, like even like you're here to create a different way of home life, a different way of family life. For some of you, you may be choosing to do things differently than the tradition, right? You may not be choosing to have children, right? You may be choosing to have pets or just to kind of experience this life by being free and liberated and being able to do what you want. And that is often deemed in society as selfish, right? But is it really though, if that's a part of your purpose? Is it really though, if that's what your soul is wanting to experience? Maybe in past lives, you really dedicated yourself to the family, to the home, to raising children. But in this life, you're here to do something different. You're here to have a different experience. And that's completely valid, right? So whether this resonates for you or not, there's some way of doing something differently here that your soul is calling you to do, okay? All paths lead home, inner authority and intuition. This is this feminine and masculine energy, the emperor and the empress energy coming through here. Turn your gaze within, go within. That's what we were talking about earlier on in your session. And this is where you're going to find those epiphanies, those downloads what it is that is truly meant for you, whether this is your purpose, whether this is the relationships that are right for you, the career path that is right for you, where you should be living in this on this planet, where you should be residing, where you should be traveling to, it's all within the answers, your blueprint is within and you can access this. It's gonna take a little bit of work though to go within, to quiet any volatility, to quiet down any distractions, maybe from externally to you or even within your own mind because sometimes when we meditate we can our mind can just keep rolling and that's completely fine and we're not supposed to tell ourselves off or berate ourselves for that because that's completely normal but it comes with practice quietening the mind comes with practice we can't expect to for example all of a sudden I'm going to try meditation and expect us to be a master at meditation it takes a little bit of time to sink into it to ease ourselves into the energy of flow to train our mind to kind of like quieten down so we can really tune in to what our soul is telling us okay so let's see what else we have into the unknown the underworld depth courage and facing your fears my gosh look at this you're about to step into a gateway a portal here of the unknown wow powerful 
and we have the water dragon helps you to flow easily around obstacles. Christ, light and love are flowing. Develop your psychic abilities and go with the flow. So I think there was another group in this pick a card today that also had develop your psychic abilities. So maybe you came from that group and if so, this is confirmation for you that you're developing in your psychic abilities. Your intuition is up leveling and there are some changes that are coming through in your psychic senses. So you may start to notice different nuanced changes or ways in which your intuition is coming online, ways in which you're finding your confirmations, you're getting those epiphany moments, ways in which you're seeing things, okay? And I feel like this is definitely going to process and come online for you if you allow yourself time to turn your gaze within where you can really tune into your own intuition and your own inner authority. So you're very connected to the Christ light, to a high vibration, a high frequency. You're very intuitive with the water dragon that is coming through for you and the energy of green coming through with this beautiful green dragon reminding me of that heart chakra the emotions so you're very in tune with your emotions and you're going to know what needs to be released what needs to be let go i feel like there's a healing here because this is almost like broken pillars and pillars are you know that pillar of strength a visualization, an analogy, a message, an energy of strength, and something has broken here. So I feel like there's a healing that's coming through. There's a processing of something that is going to help to clear something here. So you are being guided to go with the flow, but also to not be afraid to dive into the unknown because it's there where you're going to find a piece of the puzzle I'm hearing, an important piece of the puzzle that is going to make something a lot more clearer for you. So there could be a fear here that you're needing to face, but don't forget, you're absolutely ready for this. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength, okay? And you have a greater purpose that is calling you. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. So no matter how difficult your dream feels to obtain or to reach or to get to, it's completely possible for you as long as you allow yourself the freedom to try, the freedom to explore, the freedom to evolve. And I feel like these are the changes that are coming through for you, part of the changes that are coming through where you're really diving into the depths. And maybe this is something that you've already been doing and this is confirmation that this work that you've been doing by going into the underworld of your soul, the underworld of your heart, a place where we don't often dig deep enough to dive into and explore like that cave within that cavern within you're going within and you're exploring and you're going to discover something deep in the depth that may uncover something uncomfortable or challenging at the time but once it comes through once it purges once it releases that's it it's gone and you can move on with a a deeper sense of freedom a deeper sense of liberation so remember, you absolutely have the courage to face whatever this is and you're very supported with this as well. You're very supported in the spirit world and I feel like your ancestors are also teaming up with you, helping you on the sidelines, ushering you into this change of the unknown. So these changes that are coming through for you may bring through unknown shifts and I feel like there's a mystery that is involved in this. I feel like you're not supposed to know exactly what these changes are going to be bringing through for you because you're going to find it along the way. It's a part of your purpose to uncover this piece by piece, little by little. So be gentle with yourself here and keep facing those fears, okay? I'm feeling that energy is it a book that's called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway? Something like that. Feel the fear and do it anyway. So there's something about feeling some kind of fear. Asking yourself, why am I so afraid of this? Why am I so afraid of facing this? Why am I so afraid of stepping into this? Why am I so afraid of the unknown potentially, right? But the unknown doesn't have to be a scary place. 
it's like we said, the south node energy, it's what we're comfortable with, but the north node energy is the unknown, it's what we're here to do, but it can feel scary to us because we're not used to it, we have to push ourselves out of our comfort zone, and I feel for you, this is massively up-leveling a purpose when it comes to leadership here, okay, and again, don't forget your throat chakra is very significant as well. So let's pull through an energy and a message from the dolphin and mermaid realm here. The dolphin and mermaid energies. What message wants to come through to close out group three's session, please, today? We have here tranquility. Make time to relax, be still and enjoy your solitude indulging in much needed self-care yes and this is what we were saying in your reading so i love this confirmation that is coming through here to close out your session today it's important for you to find that place of tranquility for you that place that feels like home for you where you can pull back your energy where you can really take that time to be still especially as you're navigating this energy here the heavy heart the volatility you're unplugging something you're letting something release you're letting something break free here remember in your darkest hour you will find the light that will shine through you and lead the way so the light is is within you christ light love are flowing here for you okay so you've got a lot of light that is coming through from within you but for this light to come through fully and completely there's something dense that needs to be shifted that needs to be moved out of the way and i actually feel like this light is actually pushing this dense energy out the light is breaking you free the light is liberating you drop that in the comment section my light is liberating me i am breaking free my light is shining through me to lead the way so take the time to nurture your emotional wounds, be still, enjoy those moments of solitude, make sure that you're taking those moments of solitude for you as well. You've got a lot of spiritual support because these horses are really bringing me to your spirit guides and they're letting you know that they're with you, they're supporting you, they're helping you to bring through an energy and a level of balance in your life but before that happens there may be some recalibration that is needed so this momentary energy and frequency of feeling like maybe like there's an imbalance but that is so that a truer and more stable and structured and solid level of balance can come through for you know that you are worthy and that you deserve to receive good in all ways that's also a message that's coming through drop that in the comments if you want to claim this energy i know that i deserve to receive good in all ways you are worthy you are deserving your heart is so pure and i can really feel the uncomfortability here the discomfort that is coming through as whatever this is purges out from within you but you know that it absolutely has to be done it's like the band-aid we just kind of have to rip off the band-aid we have to rip off the plaster and so we can get it over and done with right and that healing can fully come through and the wound has time to breathe and that's the energy that's coming through there's a breath that if a breath of fresh air i'm hearing that is being injected into your energy here infused into your energy so powerful messages and energies coming through here for you today group three i truly hope that you found helpful guidance support confirmations and empowerment and activations that you're needing for your soul path and life journey right now and as you move forward so let's see what we should do here I feel like drop a heart emoji, drop a bubble bath emoji, is there a volcano emoji or a fire emoji, drop an elephant emoji or drop a house emoji in the comment section. If this has been your reading today, if you've resonated with this reading or if you would like to claim any of this powerful freedom, your heart is pure and free. You follow the winds of change to accomplish your dreams bringing in and infusing tranquility, balance, standing firm, stability, 
doing things differently and being that beacon and guiding light energy here today. And please feel welcome to drop in the comments how this session has resonated for you and feel welcome to share with me anything you would like to share about your soul path, your life journey and how this message has resonated for you or even activated you today. I love to hear your positive and empowering stories and comments. So thank you so much for your energy exchange and your vulnerability. It's amazing amazing to be connecting with you and thank you for all of your likes, your comments, your subscribes, your super thanks donations as well are so so appreciated and valued so thank you so much for your generosity and for your support and if you would like to dive into a personally calibrated session with myself you'll be able to find my website in the description box where you'll be able to check out all of the services that I currently offer and book with me directly directly there but please note that if my readings say sold out that just means that I'm currently at full capacity so then please navigate to the top of my website where you'll see a little banner right at the header of my page and I'll pop in there a little update of when I next expect to open new readings and new availability. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. And if you would like to dive into and explore any more support and guidance and activations for your journey, don't forget to check out my channel. I have created playlists with pick a card readings and soul alignment collective sessions as well. So please feel welcome to tune in to whatever speaks to your intuition because all of my messages and readings are timeless. And if you've enjoyed this reading today, if you enjoy my energy and my vibe, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell icon because that will let you know when I tune in and drop new readings and messages for you. And the algorithm is always shifting and changing. So if this is the first time that you have come across my channel or stumbled across this reading and my energy, this may be the first time that we cross paths, the only time that we cross paths because I may never show up on your feed again. So if I resonate for you, if you've enjoyed my energy and my style, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you join us in this beautiful blossoming and blooming community. And with all this being said, my loves, thank you so much for tuning in today. It's been wonderful to connect with you and I'm sending you lots of love. Take care. Bye.